expansion of the company rule in the 19th century. You will be able to describe how the northwest provinces of India were conquered by the East India Company. Describe the policies adopted by the company to annex the remaining Indian states. Lord Hastings served as the Governor General of India from 1813 to 1823. He followed diplomatic, political and economic methods to acquire territories rather than violence. He initiated a new policy called Paramountcy, under which the East India Company was proclaimed to be supreme or paramount. It therefore claimed to have greater power than the Indian states. This policy gave the company the power to annex any Indian state it felt threatened by. Thus, a number of Indian states were annexed. But the queen of a small Indian state of Kittur refused to accept the annexure of her territory. Rani Channamma of Kittur resisted the British army till she was captured in 1824. She was jailed and later died in prison in 1829. By the later part of 1830, most Indian territories had come under the British rule. Only a few pockets in mainland India and the regions of northwest of India, heavily influenced by the Russians, continued to elude the British. To conquer these regions, the British waged a war with Afghanistan from 1838 to 1842. It then established its indirect rule in Afghanistan and conquered Sindh in 1843. Only Punjab could not be captured by the British Army for as long as Maharaja Ranjit Singh ruled. After his death in 1839, two wars were fought between the Punjab and British armies. The first war ended with part of Punjab being annexed by the British. And the second war in 1849 resulted in Punjab being completely taken over by the British. The last of the independent Indian states were taken over by the new annexation policy called Doctrine of Lapse, devised by Lord de Lousy. According to this policy, if an Indian king died without a male heir, his kingdom would lapse and it would come under British rule thereafter. And so the Indian states of Satara in 1848 Sambalpur in 1850, Udaipur in 1852, Nagpur in 1853, Jhansi in 1854 and the remaining part of Awadh in 1856 were annexed. Thus the traders who came to India in 1600 AD to trade took just over 250 years to become its supreme ruler. We have learned that that northwest provinces of India were conquered through wars. Lord Hastings initiated a policy called Paramountcy under which the East India Company was proclaimed to be supreme or paramount. Lord de Lousy implemented the doctrine of lapse policy under which Indian states without a male heir ceased to exist. Satara Sambalpur, Udaipur, Nagpur, Chansi and remaining parts of Awadh were annexed by the company. By 1856, the East India Company that came to India as a trader became its ruler.